welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this dark, vampy fall look. I really wanted to play with um, like some purpley red colors, but I also wanted to make it like a super smoky eye with obviously the vampy lip. And I love how it turned out. Um, I hope you guys love how it turned out as well. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So first thing we're doing is taking this brown shade from the Morphe 35F palette on my Sigma E40 bl tapered blending brush and I'm just placing that in my crease and blending that out in circular motions so that it kind of blows outward and looks like a gradient to the brow bone. I did set my lid before this. I put a concealer and I set the brow bone and the crease with that. Um, not the lid though because we're going to be putting a shimmery shadow down there and also another cream base and you don't want to put that on top of powder. So I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and just placing this all over the lid. This will help that shimmery shadow that we put on top of it stand out really nicely and it'll look really pretty. And I'm just taking a random old brush and just blending that out and kind of blending it up into the crease a little bit. This will just make everything look more blended and just a lot more seamless and pretty. If we didn't blend it out then it would look like Kind of like a cut crease, which is not what we want for this look. Now that we've got that nice and blended out, I'm taking this shade once again from the Morphe 35F palette. We will be using that this entire tutorial, so I'm probably not going to say that anymore. But it's just a pretty sparkly like cranberry shade, and I'm just patting this on top of that black base that we put down. Now going back in with that brown shade and taking this on a Morphe M514 brush, we're taking that brown shade again like I just said and placing this deeper into the crease just to blend that cranberry shade out and just make everything a lot more seamless. And then going in with the black in the palette on a Morphe M506 brush and this is just to deepen everything up and make it a lot more smoky. Um, it is a fluffy brush so it so it will help like blend it out as well and I'm just packing it on the outer corner a little bit too just to blend the cranberry into the black on that outer corner so it doesn't look so weird you know and then back in and taking that brown shade and just blending that black out you want to kind of go back and forth between those two and just make sure that they flow together and don't look super muddy and like separated and weird you want everything to just blend into the other colors and just look super blown out and gradient like I've said a million times. <laughs> And then with the two lightest matte shades in the palette, I'm taking my E40 blending brush by Sigma again and just really blending everything out with that with really light strokes and circular motions, just making sure that everything is super blown out and smoky. And then I'm taking my Inglot gel liner and I'm just going to be lining my waterline and I'll also be tight lining my eyes with that as well. And then back in with that medium brown shade on that Morphe M514 brush, I am just smoking the lower lash line out with that. And then going back in with that black shade on just any angled brush and we're just setting that eyeliner in our waterline and also bringing it down onto the lower lash line to deepen up that 
lower lash line and make it blend into that brown shade down there. It just makes the lower lash line look smoky and it kind of matches the upper lid as well. So I think that that looks really nice. But you do want to set that gel liner. And then I'm just taking this super shimmery white-ish brow bone shade from the same Morphe palette and I'm just using that to highlight my brow bone and then kind of just blending it out with my finger so it doesn't look so crazy. And then I'm also putting that in the inner corner just to brighten up the look a little bit. And then just taking my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara and just prepping my lashes for the falsies. And then I will also be putting this on my lower lashes as well. And then quickly I'm just going to pop on my House of Lashes Iconic Lashes and go straight into my face. Um, I already had the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation on and also the Fit Me Concealer so I just set that with that Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And then here I'm just contouring with the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush and my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, that brush that I used before for the powder was the Morphe G7 brush just so you know. And then for blush, I'm taking my Morphe 9N blush palette and just that middle shade on the top right there and my Morphe E4 brush and just popping that shade on my cheeks. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit and that shade Starburst and I'm taking that on my Morphe M310 brush and just putting that on the tops of my cheekbones, on top of my eyebrows, down my nose, Cupid's bow and chin. I'm going through this really fast just because I basically do the same thing in every single video so if you want more in depth you can probably watch any of my other videos but yeah that's the gist of it. And then taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Sad Girl. It's this vampy cranberry color but it has like specks of purple and pink glitter in it which is so pretty. It matched the eyeshadow on my lid like so perfectly so I thought it was beautiful. So yeah I'm just going to be putting that all over my lips. And then I'm just going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray that all over my face and then quickly go back in with that Starburst Highlighting Shade from the Anastasia Glow Kit and touch up the highlight a little bit and make it stand out a little bit brighter. And yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it. It's actually like way easier than it looks. So that's always a plus and it's using one palette so that's another plus. But yeah, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up for me and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see every time I post a new video. And also make sure to go follow my social media. I leave all of those down in the description box along with all of the products that I use. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.